you might be wondering how I made that. I'm going to go through it now. To begin with, um, I'm actually going to start with, I have a MIDI keyboard. No, I'm not going to start there. I'm going to start by saying, what you just heard is a Markov train generated from Happy Birthday. What does that mean? It means I entered in the notes for Happy Birthday, I played them on a MIDI keyboard, and here is a record of that, of that input. Notice that there are note off and note on entries, and this number right here says which note it is on the keyboard. So from that I did a little bit of parsing and processing, read that in to a file, split the lines. For each line, uh, this is a little verbose, but it's basically finding the bracket and then taking the next index. So it pulls out that number, and if you look at the program output here, we have a list of numbers, and for people who know MIDI, you may recognize these notes as being Happy Birthday in G Major. Uh, no, C Major. It starts on G, but it's in C. That, that old trick with that song. Um, so that's the notes that got printed. Then I make a dictionary, and in this dictionary, the keys are each one of the notes, and the values are a list that contains the next notes, and it looks like this. If the note is 55, then the possible next notes are 57, 60. 57 appears twice, You'll, that'll become important later. And 62, 67, and 65. If the note was 57, the possible next notes are all 55. That'll also become important. If the note is 60, the next note is 55, and so on. Then what did I do with that? I generate some output, and it's formatted to be play current note sleep point five, and add that to an empty string. And for i in range one hundred, the next note is equal to random dot choice of the dictionary entry of the current note. So if we were on note fifty five. That means we're going to choose randomly one of these notes. Let's say it was 62. Then the program has to look up 62 and find that the, ne that the next note is going to be either 60 or 60. Well, it's definitely going to be 60. I write that out to a file, which ends up looking like this. Play 55, sleep point 5, play 57, and so on. And then I just copy-paste that into Sonic Pi and press play. So that's how that works. And now I'm going to simply let this Markov chain play you out. on a uh, unstable point there, but I didn't write the program to tell it how to end. It only knows how to keep going. If you listen to that, you might notice that snippets of it sounded a little like Happy Birthday, but it definitely wasn't Happy Birthday. But it did kind of feel like music, didn't it? Do you think so? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching.